Hello and welcome everybody. Today we are going to be talking about the frameworks in Deep Rock Galactic and we are going to be ranking them in our tier list. So we are going to be going over all of them that are currently in the game including all the new ones from this season and the new DLC as well. So let's begin. First up we have the stock frame. Stock is extremely basic and this is just what the weapons look like normally. That being said, all the weapons in Deep Rock do look pretty good overall. I would put stock just in the middle of C tier because C tier is what I would consider the average. To look like so i feel like stock should kind of belong there and then everything else we can gauge off of there so i think that is a fair place to put stock and we probably don't really need to talk about it very much the good thing about stock though is that you can kind of put whatever color you want on it and just see what the base colors are supposed to be up next we have builder's choice builder's choice is one that we got from season two i believe so you can still get this color um i believe either from cargo crates or from overclocks i think it's a cargo crate though that you get it from yeah, Builder's Choice is pretty good in a lot of weapons. Some weapons it makes look a little bit strange, especially in first person, because you have some where you have the ammo displayed, but then you have weird like pipes or levers and stuff going over the top of your weapons. And I don't care for that as much, but I think Builder's Choice overall is a pretty solid framework. It honestly has a really good color to it as well. I like the orange. It's probably not one of my favorites, but it is a good one and I think I'd put it up into B tier. I think Builder's Choice is pretty decent. I think it's a little bit better than the stock. Up next we have Scale Brigade. Scale Brigade is probably one of the best looking skins in the game in my opinion because it just kind of enhances the stock skin. It does give it a really cool color too with kind of the bronze or copper look to it. It's not quite a gold. Probably one of my favorite ones. I would put this one up into S tier. I think Scale Brigade is just nice on everything. I can't think of a single weapon where Scale Brigade is just kind of meh. I think it always is good to grate on basically everything. Up next we have Waster. This was from Season 1. You can still get it, of course, from Cargo Crates or from Overclocks, whichever it is. Waster sometimes looks good on certain weapons. I like it on the Revolver, and I like it on, like, the Sabata. A lot of the guns I don't really care for Waster on, though. It, it gets a bit too spiky, a bit too jagged. It does look like Mad Max weapons, which is pretty cool. I do like that, but with how many futuristic skins we have too it does look a little bit strange in comparison maybe it's just because i associate deep rock with more of a futuristic look more so than a post-apocalyptic look this skin would look absolutely fantastic in something like fallout but in deep rock it's not really one of my favorites the spiky bits are a bit too much a lot of the time so I'm going to put this one into D tier. I don't think it's like terrible or anything. And with all of these skins, don't take this as like a personal attack or anything for people using these skins. I understand it. This is completely open to personal preference. I just don't personally like it. So if you do like Waster, cool, run it. It does have like a gritty post-apocalyptic look to it, which I can understand why some people would really like. Up next we have Custom Engineered, and Custom Engineered is really good looking in most cases. It sometimes adds extra wires and extra bits along with extra batteries to certain weapons, which does kind of look a little bit strange. You also have like extra valves or some other extra things on weapons. Sometimes there's a lot of lights on it too, which can look good. Sometimes it can be a little bit blinding with certain skins if you get them at the right angle. But Custom Engineered I think is one of the better looking skins in the game. It isn't necessarily one of my favorites on everything, but it does look really cool on like the flamethrower. can look pretty good on the revolver. You do have some really good options there. So I think Custom Engineered I would put up into A tier. I also really like that there's like holographic sights that pop out on the weapons, or just sort of floating sights. I think that's really cool with Custom Engineered too, so... I don't know, I'm gonna put it in the A tier right now, but I might move it up to S tier. We'll, we'll wait on that towards the end. Next we have 4th Relic. 4th Relic also looks really good on most weapons. Certain ones it looks a little bit odd because generally they like to put a lot of big golden chunks on stuff. And big golden chunks uh, sometimes don't look way great on the weapons in my opinion. Overall though, the lesser details where you just have like almost like the engraved or the inlaid gold onto the weapons looks really good. I like that and it goes really well with a lot of uh, color schemes. Its color scheme by itself is not super fantastic. It, it's usually okay on most weapons, but once you throw a different color scheme like Company Special on there, then it looks really good. So I think I'd put 4th Relic up into A tier. It is also really good. And then we have Glyphid Hunter. Glyphid Hunter really goes back and forth for me. It depends on which weapon it's on as to whether or not I like it. Because this is similar to Waster where it has a bit too many spiky bits on it. A bit too much stuff going on. Sometimes it works really well like on the Sludge Pump where you have the big claw over it. I think that looks really good. Uh, it can also look really good on like the boomstick where it's very minimal where you just have like two spikes on it and then just like the glyphid pattern on the grip and stuff. I think that works really well. 
It also works really well on like the M1000 where you have the spikes towards the front on the handguard. Some of them though, it gets a little bit too much. I don't really care for it on the minigun that much. I don't really care for it on the auto cannon that much. It just gets too spiky for me. So I think I'm going to put the Glyphid Hunter into C tier. I think it's good. I think it's fine. I think it's on par with stock. It's kind of up and down for me. Next we got Mechanical. Mechanical honestly doesn't have that great of a color scheme because it makes all of your stuff look kind of rusted. I don't really care for that. Like it's slightly used, hasn't really been taken care of. However, I do like the actual framework itself. The framework I think looks pretty good on most weapons. It looks like people have been tinkering with their own gear just kind of piecing stuff back together. So I like that about uh, Deep Rock. It, it definitely seems like something that uh, Engineer would be doing or even Gunner would be doing with their equipment. So I think it fits really well. And once you put certain color schemes on there, I think it looks really good. But just by itself, I think I'm going to put this one high up into B tier. I think it's good. Maybe it's A tier. Definitely A tier with colors. But I think just by itself, it's like B tier. It's pretty good overall. Neon Band is one of my favorite frameworks in the entire game. It looks so good with so many colors. Its base colors are a little bit disappointing. Um, I usually don't use them that much. It's not as good as something like Scale Brigade in terms of just the base colors. But once you start putting colors on it, I would say it's even better than Scale Brigade in a lot of cases. Especially if you put some of the DLC skins on there. Like if you put uh, Roughneck on there, it looks great. Or if you put something like uh, Megacorp on there that looks really really good too so it really gets enhanced by the color schemes that you throw on there and neon band is absolutely s tier i think it's one of the best frameworks in the game just in general then we have megacorp this is a dlc megacorp looks great megacorp is fantastic i would put megacorp probably up into s tier as well it looks so good on so many weapons and just the base color scheme of white and black with accents of red on it looks so good on just about everything you don't even need to change the color, although it does look good in other colors too. I think Megacorp is one of the best. Up next we have Rival Tech, which is another DLC skin. Rival Tech has a lot of really cool colors that go along with it. Its base color is just kind of okay. I don't really care for it all that much. As well as it does have some things that I don't really like about it, like it changing the actual gun itself. A lot of them get like the stocks chopped off, and sometimes they just get other added bits to it. Sometimes you get the floating parts to the weapons though, and those do look pretty cool. And it kind of makes sense if all this is supposed to be a fur robot, you don't really need a stock on the gun, and you want to make it look futuristic so you put floating bits and wires and stuff on it so it does fit the theme really well and like i said the colors can work really well i don't think it's one of my favorites though i think it's kind of on the weaker end of the dlcs that being said though i'm still gonna put it in day tier because it still does look really good on certain weapons up next we have milspec this is the current season's framework that you can get on the weapons and mil spec kind of varies on different weapons on some weapons it looks really good on other weapons it looks a little bit strange sometimes it can make the weapons look a little bit too blocky as well as all the weapons seem to have some sort of suppressor or muzzle device on the end of them which looks a little bit odd on the m1000 i think it looks fantastic it looks really good on that weapon especially with the color scheme swap the base color for it with the army green i honestly don't really like that much I don't think it's a good looking color, but the framework itself can look good on certain weapons. That being said, it can also look potentially not that great on other weapons. So on weapons like the M1000, the minigun, the drac, I think it looks pretty good. On other weapons like the auto cannon, on the flamethrower, on a couple of these other strange weapons like the revolver, I don't think it looks way great on. I would probably put this one into B tier. I think it has potential. I do use it on certain weapons, but it definitely needs a color swap on it. The color, I think, drags it down. And then the fact that it's kind of iffy on certain weapons also drags it down a bit. So I think B tier is fair for it. And then for our final skin, we have the newest one. This is GSG Guardian. This is got from the supporter pack two. And this one is one of the best looking skins in the game. It looks fantastic on so many weapons. Is it a bit blinged out? Yeah, the base colors are good but they get much better with certain colors on there. Like you put Salt Crystal on any of these and I think they look fantastic. You can also do it with um, Company Special. Company Special looks great too. There are some really cool color schemes. The regular color scheme is fine enough and I think it does look really cool on a lot of the weapons. Definitely makes them very fancy. I love it on things like the Sludge Pump, the M1000, the Sabata looks really great. There's so many of the guns that look really good 
with this particular skin on so so this framework i'm also going to put up in s tier i think it's one of the best frameworks in the game it looks really cool and i think this is where i would put all of the frameworks in deep rock the majority of them are really really good actually kind of all of them are really good it's really cool the way that deep rock does these frameworks and does the skins just in general where once you get them especially if you're just buying them from a dlc you get all of them and that's really awesome especially since it goes to newer weapons also being added into the game i'm really looking forward to seeing what we get in season four uh, and that should be coming up sometime soon. I'm not exactly sure when. I've been getting asked the date a lot, but I have no idea. Thank you guys so very much for watching this. Tell me what your favorite frameworks are down in the comments below. And I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you guys so very much for suggesting it. I will talk to you guys next time, and I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye!